Day three of E3 and we're kicking off with Resident Evil 5. The highly anticipated title has been earning rave reviews from gamers who've finally been able to get hands on at the show. The game, which is due out next year, has a computer controlled character, Shiva, who follows around May Man Chris and lends a hand when needed and adds a new dimension to gameplay. Overall, the game doesn't bring too many changes from Resident Evil 4, which means Capcom probably has a hit on its hands. Hands on with Fallout 3 and the game looks promising. You emerge years after a massive nuclear explosion into the shattered streets of Washington DC to explore in first person, battle enemies and also spend lots of time picking through trash cans, desks and boxes to scrounge for ammo, weapons or other helpful items. You can also loot corpses to snag new guns or armour. It's shaping up to be 2008's answer to Bioshock and is out later this year. The verdict from GamePro, the game was a pleasure and despite some visual rough edges, we're eager to play more. If you watched yesterday, you'll remember that Bungie CEO posted a cryptic message to his company's homepage, apologising for the lack of E3 news and blaming it on a last minute change by the publisher. Well, 24 hours later and we know that the publisher is Microsoft in the news, a new Halo game. Nothing more is known about the title, apparently Microsoft didn't want it announced because it would take the spotlight away from its Xbox 360 lineup and games like Gears of War 2. Gran Turismo TV, which delivers TV content to Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, is coming on August 1st through the PlayStation Network. The service, which is already available in Japan, brings footage from the world of auto racing and other motorsports related content, including the BBC's Top Gear. Sticking with the PlayStation Network, and that's where you'll be able to find the new Ratchet & Clank Quest for Booty. Guys, I'm not looking for any trouble. The standalone adventure is shorter than normal games with up to four hours of gameplay. The game follows on from Tools of Destruction and finds Ratchet in a desperate search for Clank. To aid the quest, there are new wrench mechanics, light dark gameplay and pirate puzzles. And good news for Nintendo fans, the Mario and Zelda development teams are hard at work on new titles for both franchises, President Satoru Iwata said at Nintendo's E3 news conference. There's no word on what those titles might be or when we might see them. And that's your E3 News Wrap. Come back for more later with reporting by GamePro Correspondents at E3. I'm Martin Williams, IDG News Service.